Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on importing real-world terrain data in Terragen 4. Terragen excels at procedurally generating massive landscapes and entire worlds, but sometimes you want to render a place that already exists on Earth. In this video, we'll be taking a look at creating a rendering of Mount St. Helens, an iconic volcano that has long been a favorite subject in the Terragen community. To do this, the first step is to find a DEM, which stands for Digital Elevation Map. Terragen can import terrain data in many formats, including the common GeoTIFF and IMG formats. There are many websites with elevation data for locations around the world, and government or university sites are usually a good place to start. The USGS National Map Viewer is a great resource for locations in the US. Let's take a look at what they have for our mountain. We'll zoom in to Mount St. Helens, and use the Extent tool to highlight an area around the mountain. Now we can check elevation products, select all, and search. A list of files will come up that overlap our selected area, and we can hover over the footprint button to see their coverage. In this case, we can see that the highest resolution data available here is one arc second which means that there's a data point about every 100 feet. This isn't very good resolution. Luckily, some more searching turned up another USGS publication, which has much higher resolution 1 meter data derived from a LiDAR scan of the volcano. Let's go ahead and download that. Now, we'll come into Terrigen. To open our downloaded terrain, come to the Terrain tab, Add Terrain, and then Height Field Load DEM. Select our downloaded GeoTIFF. Now, our terrain should be loaded. Because the DEM file contains geoposition information, by default, Terrigen is going to import it way down on the side of the globe. This makes it a little bit difficult to work with. A useful trick is to move the origin of the planet to the position of our terrain data. We can do this by coming to our terrain loader and copying one of the corner coordinates. Then come to our Objects tab, select our planet, and paste into the lat long at apex field. Now, the terrain will be located near the origin. Now you'll see that this terrain has some big holes in it. These are areas where the DEM we downloaded didn't have any data. You can fix this at least partially by coming back to the terrain loading shader and setting the no data value equal to the minimum height and checking replace no data values. Now at least we don't have a bottomless pit. This particular data set is a little weird shaped, so we're limited on where we can put the camera for a full view. Right down in this area is a nice spot with a good view of the iconic volcano crater. At this point, there are a few different directions to choose from for shading and how closely you want to match the original location. One option is to import satellite imagery, which we'll cover in another video. Another is to use Terrigen's own procedural shading tools, as demonstrated in previous mountain videos. Or you can use a mix of both. For now, I'm going to add some erosion, put in a lake, and throw down a few color surface layers. Some white for snow, some green and brown for grass and dirt. Add some trees, clouds, and bump the haze up a bit for a nice sense of scale. And here we have Mount St. Helens.